Good day to you. This is Pastor Joey Pagadora and this is Senior Moments to Remember. Thank you for joining us today. It is a pleasure to have you and we're looking forward to having a great time with you as we worship the Lord together, read this word together, and pray together. Now before we start, we'd like to ask if you have any prayer requests, please type them in the comment section below. We would love to pray with you. Or if you just want to say hi, let us know where you are at. It would be great to hear from you. Let's open in prayer. Father, I lift up to you my brother, and I lift up to you my sister, and I ask God, touch their bodies. I ask God that you touch their hearts. Let strength, let joy, let faith flow, O Lord. As we read your word, as we spend time worshiping you, and as we spend time praying together, let your Holy Spirit just move in our midst, O God, wherever they may be. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's open our hearts and worship the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Come and join me in worshiping our wonderful God. Moments to remember, moments to remember. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Moments to remember, moments to remember. Planted in the house of the Lord. Claim the Lord is upright, He's my rock, and there's no weakness in Him. Moments to remember, moments to remember. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree, they will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Moments to remember, moments to remember. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green to proclaim the Lord is upright. He's my rock and there's no weakness in Him. Moments to remember. Moments to remember. Moments to remember. Moments to remember, moments to remember. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame. But only trust in Jesus' name. Christ the Lord, the storm, weak made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. When darkness seems to hide its face, I rest on His unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. My anchor holds within
Good day to you. This is Pastor Joey and welcome to your wow moment. Wow meaning words of wisdom. And we know that wisdom is important to you because you have lived it. You have proven it. And now you are enjoying the fruit of wisdom in your life. Today, we will be talking about Gideon. Let's read Judges chapter 6 starting in verse 11. Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth at Ophrah, which belonged to Joash the Abizrite, while his son Gideon was beating out wheat in the winepress to hide it from the Midianites. The angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, O mighty man of valor. And Gideon said to him, Please, my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his wonderful deeds that our fathers recounted to us, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and given us into the hand of Midian. And the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours and save Israel from the hand of Midian. Do I not send you? And he said to him, Please, Lord, how can I save Israel? Behold, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh, and I am the least in my father's house. And the Lord said to him, But I will be with you, and you shall strike the Midianites as one man. And he said to him, If I now have found favor in your eyes, then show me a sign that it is you who speak to me. Please do not depart from here until I come to you and bring out my present and set it before you. And he said, I will stay till you return. Now, whenever we hear the name Gideon, what are the things that come to mind? We think of a great warrior, maybe, or maybe a brave soldier, or maybe an awesome strategist for war. But you know what? He wasn't like that when he started. It wasn't like that from the beginning. Please take note. Even he said that he came from the weakest clan, right, of the most insignificant tribe. But the angel of the Lord called him a mighty warrior. Now, it's like he didn't hear it, all right? It's like he did not hear the angel of the Lord calling him a mighty warrior because instead, Gideon was asking, where is, where, where's all the reality of God that his fathers have been telling them? Jo Joshua chapter 6, verse 13. And Gideon said to him, Please, my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his wonderful deeds that our fathers recounted to us, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt, but now the Lord has forsaken us and give us us into the hand of Midian? Now, I don't think Gideon was questioning the reality of God. It's more like he was seeking for the reality of God. There's a difference between the two. When you question, you question if it's real or not. But when you're seeking, you're wanting it. You're longing for it. Now, when he remembers the stories of how God led the Israelites out of Egypt in the time of Moses and the miracles that happened at that time, Gideon is asking, where is it, Lord? And can it also happen in my time, Lord? Now, what did God instruct Gideon to do? Joshua chapter 6, verse 14. And the Lord turned to him and said, Go in this might of yours. What might? The might for war? No, he didn't have that. He's not a warrior. What kind of might? He's not a king. He has no leadership position that's, you know, considered to be high. But what is this might of his that he's supposed to go with and save Israel from the hand of the Medians? Now, he hasn't fought a war let alone he hasn't won a war, but God considers a heart that seeks him, a heart that seeks the reality of God. That's what God considers as strength. And as Gideon went forward and he had a heart that seeks the reality of God, we see great things accomplished in his life using him as the leader, as the judge for Israel during those days. So what is one character trait that we can learn from Gideon. It's always to be hungry for the reality of God, always seeking for the reality of God, always going after the powerful presence of God. 
not professional presentation with slides and smoke machines and dark lights. No, presence of God. Gideon accomplished much in his life because he seeks for the reality of God. Now, in the same way, I pray that your heart will always hunger for the reality of God. And just as God transformed Gideon's life from obscurity to greatness in serving the Lord, may your life also be a display of increase and greatness as you serve Him, so that they will see that those who serve the Lord, everything that they do is never in vain. This has been your one moment, and our prayer for you is that as you continue in wisdom, the days, the weeks, the months, and the years ahead of you will even be more fruitful. God bless you. Moments to remember. Good morning! Welcome to Golden Hour. I'm Pastora Babes. It's time to sing along with me. Come on, let's sing Celebrate. of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, for He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His pinions. And under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield in battle. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow of the, the the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalk in darkness, nor the destruction that that waste in non day. A thousand might fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the 
the foam spins of the wheat because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to, to befall you. No flood come near you, your ten, for, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up. Let your strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the other, the young lion and the serpent you will trample under foot. Because he holds the past to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will justify sus him and show him my salvation. Hello po and welcome once again to our Memory Verse segment. Yes, I know you can do this! Our memory verse for today is found in Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, Rejoice! Praise God! Amen. Right now, we will have a little help from one of you. So why don't we all welcome Tatay Alfred Dasilio. Hello po! Hi! I'm Alfred of Exemplar. Tatay Alfred, do you think you can do this po? Yes, I can! All right, take it away. Uh, in Philippians 4 verse 4, it says, I rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Wow, that is really awesome. Thank you so much, Potate Alfred. And thank you everyone for joining us in our memory verse. But wait, we're not done yet. We still have round one in our memory verse. And what's that? We're going to remove a few words, and I know you can do this very, very well. Are you ready? Here we go. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Rejoice. Awesome. That wasn't really hard, right? Now let's go to round 2. Round 2, we will remove more words, okay? Here we go. Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Again, yes, amen and amen. It's a great thing to know that we are filled with joy because it is our choice, right? To rejoice in the Lord always. Amen. Now, why don't we all recite the verse all together with Tatay Alfred. Here we go. Uh, in Philippians 4 verse 4, it says, I rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Yes, thank you so much for that, Alfred. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Until next time in our Memory Verse segment. God bless you all, Paul. Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Oyen once again for our Say Amen segment. Again, we are looking at the passage in Luke chapter 5 verses 2 to 3 and he saw the two boats by the lake but the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets getting into one of the boats which was simon's he asked him to put out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people from the boat another thing we can see in this passage is that jesus asked simon to lend him his boat though he is lord he did not use his influence as teacher to simply use peter's boat he still asked peter's approval Again, there are two things we can see in this act of Jesus. Firstly, Jesus will always want us to decide for ourselves. Jesus will never violate our free will. Jesus will want us to be the one to desire to serve Him and be the one to desire to lend our material possessions for the Lord's use. God did not create us a robot. We are given free will. Another reason Jesus asked Peter is that he is giving Peter an opportunity to be generous. 
Jesus would give opportunity for us for sowing so that He can bless us as well. Luke chapter 5 verse 4 And when He had finished speaking, He said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. After Simon followed the instruction of Jesus, he experienced a bountiful catch of fish that the nets began to break. Luke chapter 5 verses 4 to 7, And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing, but at your word I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish and their nets began breaking. They signaled to, the, to, to their partners in the other boat to come and help them, and they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. Peter experienced a harvest in business after he followed Jesus, after he allowed Jesus to use his boat for his ministry. Jesus gave Peter an opportunity to be generous so that he can experience the blessing of serving. The same is available for us today. If you want, if you want the blessing of God in what you have, use what you have for the work of the Lord because God is not a user. He will bless us in return, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Simon lent his boat to Jesus to be used in the ministry. This is after Jesus finished teaching the people. This is after Simon allowed Jesus to use his boat. This is after he listened and obeyed. Then Jesus told him to catch fish. When we let our God's given assets, talents, or abilities to be used by God, the moment we obey, blessing will surely come to us. This is your Say Amen segment for the day. Pagpalain po tayo ng Panginoon. Good day! This is Pastor Latin and welcome once again to our prayer time. Thank you so much for always allowing us to be part of your life. Every time you share with us your prayer request, it's always a great honor to pray for you and see those prayers being answered. So how do we pray? Fervently and with joy. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence today and we are so humbled by your goodness and by your grace upon our lives. Father, we thank you because we know, God, that you are always there for us, never leaving us nor forsaking us. And right now, Father, we lift up to you the needs of your people. Thank you, Lord, because we know, God, that you are always there to hear our prayers and to answer our needs because you are good. Father, for Sister Lina, thank you, Lord, for answering her prayers, oh God. Prayer for healing for all the muscle pains, oh God, that she is experiencing from. Thank you, God, that you will touch her body right now, wherever she is. We know, God, that there is no distance in prayer. That, God, you could just touch her body from the top of her, he from the top of her head onto the sole of her feet. And that, God, you will cause healing to flow in the powerful name of Jesus. And, Father, we also thank you for Sister Virgie Arboleda. God, we lift up to you her daughter and her baby. Father, keep her healthy even a baby in her womb oh god strong thank you father that you will cause them oh god to be kept safe and protected from any kind of sickness or disease we also thank you that the entire family of sister virgie oh god will come to a knowledge of you that salvation will flow upon their household oh god that salvation will come upon them in jesus name as she believes you promise lord that even her whole household will be saved and father we thank you as well for sister neth gundran as she believes for the entire protection of her family especially god for her daughter chriselle Thank you that you will keep Crystal's family in U.S. protected and safe as always. That your angels will always be with them to guard their ways. And Father, we thank you as well for the husband of Sister Neth, for his salvation, O God, Brother Arsenio Gundran. That you will touch his heart and you will bring a change of heart, O God. Thank you that he will come to know you and experience your reality in his life. And he will surrender his life to you and receive you as his Lord and Savior. And Father, we also lift up to you, Sister Pitang. Thank you, God, for healing her ear from infection, O oh God, from itchiness. Thank you, Lord, that you will cause her, O oh God, to be comfortable. 
that no more itchiness will happen, no more itchiness that will be felt, oh God, but thank you that you will totally deliver her, Lord, from this sickness. And lastly, Father, for Sister Aurora Sosa, thank you, God, for the miracle baby for Brother Amante and Sister Josa. Lord, we believe that as you are the author of life, nothing is impossible with you. You will cause this couple, oh God, to have their own baby in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the prayer needs of your people will be answered because of your faithfulness. We love you, God, and we claim all of these things because all of your promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. All of these things we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope to see you again tomorrow for another time of prayer. Thank you so much for joining us today and we're looking forward to having you join us again tomorrow for another episode of Senior Moments to Remember. Now before we go, we'd like to ask, maybe you have a friend, a relative, a neighbor, or maybe one of your long, 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 long time friend that you haven't heard from and you just saw his name maybe in Facebook. Or maybe you just saw his apo down the street. Well, why don't you send him the link? Why don't you send her the link? If you are blessed with our program in Senior Moments to Remember, why don't you try and think of someone, also a senior, who would also be blessed by our program? And that just as you were encouraged, they will be encouraged as well. We just consider it a great privilege to be able to bring to you the Word of God, and do the many fun stuff that we do here in Senior Moments to Remember. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you so much for our time together. Thank you for blessing my brother. Thank you for blessing my sister. And as they go on with their day, let it be productive. Let it be blessed. Let it receive a touch from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you tomorrow and see you for another episode of Senior Moments to Remember. God bless. Moments to remember.